Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshig and Madrid for Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and it's Q&A time yet again. As always friends, thanks for all the questions. Keep them coming. Send them to us via email and be sure to include your address so we can send you the Mad River Outfitters hat and the Mad River Outfitters fly box. It's the least we can do, literally, uh, to say thanks for being a part of our YouTube channel. So today, let's jump right in. Jason L. from Delaware, Ohio, a neighbor of ours. Um, Jason says, what the heck causes wind knots in the leader and the tippet? I've been fly fishing for more than 20 years and have never figured this out or found a way to prevent them. Jason, that's actually really easy. Um, Lefty Cray, who was a good friend of ours here at the shop, and I studied quite a bit with Lefty uh, uh, casting, and a lot of what we teach comes from Lefty. But Lefty used to say that there's no such thing as wind knots. They're called bad casting knots. Now, no offense, man, I'm sure you're not a bad caster, but this is really easy. You're coming forward too soon during the cast. And again, it's not you, Jason. Literally, 99.999% of all people that I've ever worked with, beginners, intermediate, and advanced fly casters, they all come forward too soon or creep forward too soon. The industry often refers to this as creep, okay? Where you're wandering forward too soon. Um, it's understandable. This is the exciting part of the cast. You're excited to get there and you wander forward too soon. Um, some of you that have, have studied with me, you've heard me say this before. I, I call it premature evacuation of your upcast. If you come forward too soon, you're evacuating the upcast and nobody likes premature evacuation, okay? So actually, let's go outside. Let's step out back of the shop here and let's take a look at this with a fly rod in our hand and I'll show you how to fix those pesky wind knots even if there is no wind. All right, let me show you this here with the TFO office rod first. Um, and again, what's happening is you're coming forward too soon or wandering forward prematurely and that's causing a tailing loop where the loop closes or comes under itself. I know this is gonna make sense to you. Instead of that loop going right out over top of itself, the loop closes and thus that's where you're getting the knots or those wind knots in your leader and your tippet, okay? So it can really easily be fixed by making sure that you stay put or actually in coming videos, we're gonna show you when we get into some intermediate and advanced casting stuff, I'm gonna show you where you actually want to let your rod tip drift backwards. Whereas you and most people are wandering forward too soon, causing these tailing loops and giving these knots, it's collapsing on you. You might hear it snapping behind you. You're snapping off flies the whole nine yards. Okay, concentrate on this. Form your loop and then allow that, allow the rod tip to actually drift backwards ever so slightly, okay? Form the loop. Let your rod tip drift backwards. Just let your wrist relax a little bit. Boom, drift backwards. Instead of creeping forward, think of this. Remember what they taught you when you were a kid in kindergarten if you ever caught on fire? Well, what happens if your clothes become on fire? Or the old safety rule of stop, drop, and roll. Do you always practice this? Like nine out of 10 kids was gonna spontaneously combust but they taught you to stop, drop, and roll, okay? So stop, form your loop, and then drop your tip backwards. Stop, drop, just drop it back a couple of inches, and this will help prevent you from creeping forward too soon, okay? You know, you can think of it this way. If you creep forward too soon, you're like a baseball pitcher winding up to throw a 90 mile an hour fastball, and you throw that pitch from here. Flip Pallet used to say to me when I was younger, Flip used to always say to me, Brian, you're making half of a cast. And for a while, I really didn't realize what he meant until he explained it to me that way. I was only making half a cast or half of a pitch. If you wander forward too soon, you're only using half of that runway. If you remember back to my original casting video on the airplane taking off the runway. A baseball pitcher is going to wind up to full extension and so should you by drifting your rod tip backwards, not creeping forward. 
go ahead and make a full fly cast, a whole fly cast, and you'll probably eliminate those wind knots. So there you go, Jason. We appreciate you being a part of the YouTube channel. Tell all your friends, make sure you subscribe the whole nine yards. Uh, we really appreciate you watching and being a part of this. Um, make sure you stay tuned. We've got a lot coming at you. And if you like what we do, go to madriveroutfitters.com, share a little bit of the love so we can continue to afford to make these videos. Thanks a lot. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.